we're asked, how many centiliters are in one deciliter? So the first thing we want to do is just think about how much is a centiliter relative to a liter, and how much is a deciliter relative to a liter. And I'll write the prefixes down. And, and really, you should have these really memorized, because you're going to see these prefixes over and over again for different types of units. So the prefix kilo, sometimes kilo, this means 1,000. That means 1,000. Cent, if you see hecto, hecto means 100. Deca, deca means 10. If you have nothing, then that just means 1. Then so well, let's put that there. Then if you have deci, deci, this means 1 tenth. If you have centi, centi, this means 1 hundredth. If you have, if you have milli, this means one thousandth. So let's go back to where we have. We have centiliters. We have centi right over here. So a centiliter. Let me write this in a different color. If you have a centiliter, so a centiliter, centiliter, this is equal to one hundredth of a liter. One hundredth of a liter. Or you could say one liter for every hundred centiliters. So you could also write it like this: one liter for every hundred, or per every hundred centiliters. 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 So we got the centiliter. Now let's think about the deciliter. So the deca is right over here. So a deciliter, deciliter, means ten. It means 10 liters. Or another way to say it is for every 10 liters, for every 10 liters, you will have one, one deciliter. Now, before I actually work out the problem, what's going on here? We're going from, we're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit. So there are going to be many of the smaller units in one of the larger ones. And we could do it multiple ways. So they want to, we want to essentially convert one deciliter into into centiliters. Now we could just do it by looking at this chart, or we could do it with the, uh, I guess you call it dimensional analysis, making sure the dimensions work out. Let's do it the first way. So if you have one deciliter, so if you have one deciliter, how many liters is that? Well, that's going to be 10. Let me write it over here. Let me scroll to the, let me say. So one deciliter over here would be the same thing as 10 liters. That's liters. We're assuming that our unit is liters here. And then 10 liters is going to be how many deciliters? Well, it's going to be 100 deciliters, right? Because each of these is 10 deciliters, and you have 10 of them. So you're going to, every time you go down, you're going to be multiplying by a factor of 10. 10 100 deciliters is how many centiliters? Well, 100 deciliters, you, each of them is going to be worth 10 centiliters, so that's going to be 1,000. A thousand centiliters. So we have our answer. One deciliter is one thousand centiliters. One thousand centiliters. Now the other way, the other way to do it is you could convert a deciliter to liters and then convert a liter to centiliters. So if we have one deciliter, one deca. Leader. And whenever you do unit things, just make sure that it makes sense. You know, sometimes people, instead of uh, multiplying, they would divide, and they'd, they'd get, oh, one deciliter is equal to one thousandth of a centiliter. And they say, no, 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 a deciliter is a much larger unit than a centiliter. So one deciliter has to be a bunch of centiliters. So this should be a large number. So you should always do that reality check whenever you're dealing with units. But let's do it the dimensional analysis way. We're starting with one deciliter. We want to convert it to liters. So if you're converting it to liters, you want the deciliter in the denominator, deciliter, and you want liters in the numerator. Now, how many liters are one deciliter? Well, or you could say, well, 10, dec 10 liters is equal to one deciliter. 10 liters is equal to one deciliter. So one deciliter is equal to, these cancel out, 1 times 10 is 10 liters. Now if we wanted to convert this to centiliters, we're going to want the liters in the denominator, and you want the centiliters, centiliters in the numerator. Now, how many centiliters are there per liter? How many centiliters? Well, one liter, 
One liter is 100 centiliters. Centiliter is 100th of a liter. Notice, this and this are the inverse statements. They're saying the exact same thing, 1 liter per 100 centiliters. Here we're writing 1 liter per 100 centiliters. We've just flipped it, but they're giving the same information. And the reason why we flipped it is so that the liters cancel out. And then we're just left with 10 times 100 is 1,000 centiliters. 1,000 centiliters. And we are done.